Electric vehicles now started using switched reluctance motors as well, even though they are not that common. To have a detailed research, you may develop controllers for SRM and compare the results with induction motors. For example, the efficiency, range, energy consumption, etc. You may do software simulation projects related to electric vehicles. For example, develop a complete electric vehicle simulation model in MATLAB. Then find out the most critical factors such as the mass, aerodynamic drag, frontal area, etc. that cause more energy consumption. Vehicle to grid is a really interesting area to do projects. The idea here is that you can connect your electric vehicle to the power grid and flow the energy from your electric vehicle to the grid. An electric car can act as a load and a small generating station as well. Here are two possibilities for your thesis. The first one is the advantages of V2G in the grid's perspective. The second one is the advantages of V2G in the driver's perspective. The latter mainly focus on the economic advantages such as the reduced electricity charges and incentives. I recommend you to focus on the peak load saving and other advantages of V2G technologies from a utilities perspective. For example, the simulation of the vehicle to grid connected system at a private charging station and finding how to flatten the load curve. The impact of the vehicle to grid on the power quality can also be analyzed. Since there is a DC to AC conversion and power injection happens, the quality of the AC can be reduced. You can analyze it. Come up with a good topic reading the research papers on V2G. Here are a few ideas. First one is the environmental impact of EV on its whole life, from the manufacturing to the disposal. You may analyze how far it is better than an IC engine vehicle. We know that the battery manufacturing etc impacts the environment. So in the whole life of an electric vehicle, how much pollution it causes, you can analyze these things. The second one is the comparison of solar charging stations and conventional charging stations. In conventional charging stations, it takes electricity from coal etc. The third one is the comparison of carbon footprint from electric vehicle and IC engine vehicle. The next one is the quantitative analysis of pollution in a city if we replace all the vehicles with EV. Thank you so much but I don't have any website suggestions for you. For calculations and formula you may refer NPTEL course and you may get some information from IEEE also. Did you get any topic from the company where you do your internship? Usually we will get an opportunity to do project related to the work in the company during internship. If your project is completely independent of the work in that company, then you may watch this video to get some project ideas. I am not that into the management field but I hope the following three ideas might help you. The first one is smart charging for EVs for peak load sharing. The economics of power utility grid can be analyzed. The second one is the impact of infrastructure development in the mass adoption of electric vehicles. One of the main infrastructures to be noted is the charging station. The third one is the economic impacts of battery as a service. Do watch the video about battery as a service to know more about this topic. I will provide all the important links in the description of this video you may watch later. Thank you. The topic is really great. The wireless charging for electric vehicles are being developed by many companies. Wish you all the very best. Here are a few ideas for you. The first one is the vibration analysis of electric motors for electric vehicles. The second one is the multi-speed gearbox for electric vehicles and the feasibility analysis. The third one is the two-speed gearbox for quick acceleration of electric vehicles. For example, some models of Porsche uses two-speed gearboxes. You can analyze it. Here are a few topics for you. The first one is the control strategy development for hybrid electric vehicle for minimization of energy consumption. The second one is the comparison of P1, P2, P3, P4 configuration of hybrid electric vehicles using simulation studies. The next one is the effect of regenerative braking on hybrid electric vehicle batteries. The fourth one is the impact of hybridization on emissions. To perform the above mentioned simulation, first of all we have to develop a complete hybrid electric vehicle model. It's a bit complicated than battery electric vehicle modeling, but if you use the battery models available in simulation software such as MATLAB then the studies will be a little bit easier otherwise you can use a free MATLAB based GUI advisor for electric vehicle studies I highly recommend you to check out the advisor tool for your studies 
I think the hybrid electric vehicle models are available in MATLAB. But for your academic project, you may develop a vehicle model in MATLAB yourself. Here are some ideas. The first one is the torque split strategy for hybrid electric vehicle that minimizes the total energy loss. Second one is the regenerative braking system for hybrid electric vehicle. The third one is the sensitivity analysis of critical vehicle design parameters such as the frontal area, mass, rolling resistance, etc. on the range of the vehicle. The grid integration at home and private charging stations can be good projects. The the algorithm should take care of the energy cost. It shall communicate with the car or a mobile app to identify the charging rate set by the driver. If it's at home and the tariff is a time of use tariff, then the objective shall be to minimize the total energy cost. The electric vehicle simulation software provides you with the state of charge of a battery during drive. It depends on the selected driving cycle, vehicle parameters, etc. What details would you like to know? Please comment below. We have a collection of project topics for electrical engineers. I will discuss most of these points in this video and other videos on this channel. I hope those projects will be helpful for automotive engineers as well. Thanks a lot for the comment. I don't know much about the mechanical design part of the chassis. When I had gone through some research articles, it showed that we could do finite analysis methods for the design improvements of electric vehicle chassis. Kindly read articles on ResearchGate or IEEE to know more. Thanks. Is it really possible to proceed without a simulation model in MTech project? Even though we do simulation project, the first level of validation will be through simulation model. Anyway, you may try to implement some control techniques for power electronics converter for EV control. For example, SVP, WEM, etc. Different types of motors will have different efficiencies and performance characteristics. You may read detailed articles about how to improve the efficiency of electric motors. We have a video that explains how Tesla improved the range of electric vehicle without upgrading the battery. I will provide the link in the description. Thank you so much for your comment. I would like to suggest you a few topics in power systems. Vehicle to grid simulation would be one of the best topics for power system masters. Peak load shaving, the strategy to reduce electricity costs, etc. are a few topics. If you would like to focus on the charging stations, the following would be a list of the projects. The first one is the stability analysis of power utility grid connected with a cluster of charging stations. The second one is the V2G at private charging stations. The third one is the thermal management at charging stations. The fourth one is the renewable sources connected charging stations. For example, the solar charging station. The regenerative braking can be combined with power electronics as well. The bidirectional controller is required to enable regenerative braking for an electric vehicle. The development of a bidirectional charger for electric vehicle can be a project. A few more interesting topics for research can be as follows. The first one is the development of an algorithm for smooth driving experience with regenerative braking. It will be a combination of hardware and simulation. The second one is the one pedal driving for electric vehicles. With a single pedal, you can drive an electric vehicle. The brake pedal is also not necessary. The third one is the simulation studies of the effectiveness of regenerative braking for small electric vehicles. To know the details about wireless charging, watch the video in the description. Vehicle to grid and vehicle to home are the two best topics for power systems research. It includes the peak load shaving, reducing the current bill using time of use tariff, etc. The harmonic reduction while using charging stations can also be a good research project. Related to machines, we can have a comparative study of different machines for electric vehicles and propose the best one for different applications. There are reluctance motor, induction motor, PM, SM, etc. Which one will be the best one for passenger car, commercial vehicle, buses and electric scooters? All-wheel drive vehicles are mainly of two types. The first one with hub motors connected on each wheel. The second one is two axles, two motors. The one for front wheels and one for rear wheels. The VCU shall be developed to split the torque demand equally or in such a way that to operate the motors at their maximum efficiency. There can be options to drive all-wheel, front wheel, rear wheel alone as well. The topic is really nice. What improvements would you like to propose to your model apart from the one in the transaction? Kindly watch this video for electric vehicle related project ideas and check the description for more details.